so today what we're going to be doing is finally fitting uh, the Scorpion exhaust system which I bought a while back. Um, the good news is, and what was kind of put me off taking off, is I didn't know what I have to remove the really easy to fit Scorpion system. Uh, a lot of this video I might voice over because I don't know, can you hear it? Switch to the camera's audio. And you're back to me. The weather outside is really bad, so I don't know how the audio is going to come out if I just record off this mic. So I might do some voiceover stuff, uh, and I might not. It depends on how it sounds later. But don't be, don't be upset if you hear lots of voiceover stuff. Um, it will be the same stuff as I would have been saying anyway. So if you were to buy this kit, um, everything kind of over here is what you would buy or what you would receive. So you have the silencers, which have a really nice little scorpion detail on the left and the right um, and all these fitting pieces so I did get extra I got the the catalytic converter delete uh, link pipe because someone cut out my one before I bought the bike anyway and it's just rusty and horrible so what we're going to do first is we have to remove this um, with this bolt here which I've done previously uh, you might remember um, that then takes off the side pods and then we have to kind of undo all the bolts for this guy here uh, and this whole thing pulls back along with these uh, covers here so there's a bit of work to do. We also have to disconnect the rear license plate and a bit of other work. Um, I would like to clean my bike for the tire running going on tomorrow, but um, it's just not feasible. I use this bike every day and the weather is absolutely atrocious. So what I'm going to do now is uh, start undoing bolts and yeah, I'll show you when we're, when we're getting on. What I'm going to do is do one side. So you'll get to see one side and all you have to do is flip it over onto the other if you're doing the same thing. But essentially all we're doing is taking out this bolt popping off the side pods uh, these two bolts here have to come out along with this one and there's also a trim bolt right there that has to come out too so then to remove the side pod top bolt uh, take that out and then there's two rubber grommets so a good sharp tug will dislodge the side pod and um, actually quite easy to remove in fairness and then you just need to do the same thing on the far side and you're all done you then want to remove the um, side bolt uh, for lack of a better term which mounts the kind of the rear grab handle frame section uh, to the actual subframe itself so there's one bolt here on each side and you just want to remove the two of them then two lower trim bolts i had to drill one of these out but they should come out fairly easily and you do get a replacement uh, frame thing anyway so don't worry if you do have to drill it you then want to remove the two bolts shown here the kind of outside too um, once you have them removed you can then actually pull away the whole I don't know what you want to call it handle assembly or you know rear kind of assembly once that's done uh, now I did forget to unplug the rear um, brake light here so just do unplug that and once that's done, then you can actually just lift the whole unit up and pull it away as one, um, which is actually really nice and straightforward, uh, to be honest, to remove it, just a couple of bolts and then pull it away. So then you want to remove this bolt here and also that cover will pull back from the grommet just above it. Uh, these two bolts as well, along with this 8mm here, and that will remove that kind of heat shield section, but it also will actually unbolt the exhaust itself. There's two bolts, more bolts, lower link ones there we'll get in a minute. Um, they're just holding on the kind of lower frame uh, registration plate holder. So once you remove those bolts, you can take away the heat shield. And that also allows you to, to actually pull away the exhaust when you have everything else off. You also want to remove... The Phillips head there shown either side and that'll allow you to just slide back that horrible piece of scrap hideous thing I didn't like it then to remove the actual exhaust itself you want to just um, loosen off the clamp I took the bolt fully out you don't need to I just felt it'd give me more wiggle room and um, when I was actually going to to remove the exhaust piece itself but not necessary you then want to remove the two small bolts there that hold on the registration plate lower frame thing and um, don't worry too much about that frame because you actually uh, get a new one with the kit which you'll see in a few seconds um, the new one is way prettier anyway uh, because it's new also don't smash your hands like I did because the tire it hurts when you bash your fingers off it to remove the exhaust just tug back on it and give it a good wiggle <laughs> and it should pop right out it's very straightforward and this 
standard exhaust piece it's hideous and it's ridiculously heavy so very happy to have it off the bike you then want to remove the cat delete the original cat pipe if you want to fit the cat delete pipe it involves lower clamp uh, removing the brake fluid reservoir and also that upper bolt there I'd also advise loosening off the bolt just above that one um, which is a Torx head it just gives you more wiggle room when you're refitting the link pipe so this pipe was an absolute pile of scrap where someone had re-welded in the piece when they removed the cat hideous this one is lovely nice stainless steel and um, fitment was perfect everything lined up the way it was supposed to in the original bolt holes with very very little messing um, once you've that fitted you just want to tighten back up the lower clamp the top kind of uh, bushing bolt I suppose you'd call it and also then just refit your brake fluid reservoir once that's done you can fit your uh, one into two pipe at the back which then allows you to fit your two silencers they're really easy to fit they're just push fit with a single clamp on either side um, and also then they have a kind of enveloping band clamp stainless steel thing that bolts into the uh, supplied scorpion rear hanger um, really straightforward to do and they come with nice uh, protective foamy stuff to stop them scratching your lovely new exhausts so basically what we have here now is this new frame um, this new frame bolts on here and on the far side and then what we bolt to here is we take off this old piece so this comes off the old frame I'll show you in a second and this bolts on here from there we also get this we get this new piece here with the scorpion kit just bolts into the original holes and then you get this arm here that travels down between um, and bolts on to the new uh, lower frame piece here as well so it all bolts back up together nicely and we also have a securing bolt here and here uh, to keep the exhaust in place. Don't forget to cable tie your cables back up. So for reference this was the old piece and this is where you bolt on the kind of lower frame mount. Now the only thing is the only thing is uh, this isn't original so it didn't fit perfectly. All I have to do now is put back on the upper frame mount and the side bolsters and we're good to go. Refitting is a lot easier than taking it apart you literally just kind of jiggery poke this back into position and um, just be careful that you don't break the plastic because it does take a bit of finagling um, then you want to put back in all the bolts um, straightforward enough I don't think I need to explain that one for the side pods if you've never refitted them they do go into place with an audible pop you might have to put your hand in behind to get that side in and then simply just refit the top retaining bolt doesn't need to be over tight so they're finally installed the scorpions not as bad to install as I even thought they might be um, to be honest they were actually really quite straightforward it's just the fact that it's an underseat exhaust um, meant I had to take the whole back of the part, bike apart but you know their instructions are really cl clear all of the mounting hardware that you need is there um, it's really really solid as you can see now so absolutely delighted with it I think most importantly what we're going to do now is the uh, the first startup test so the baffles are in um, and they're going to be staying in until I do the kind of the the proper noise test video so wait for that but for now we are just going to do a quick first start test and see what sounds so straight off the bat that's a much better noise Yeah, I <laughs> not only do they look 10 times better, they sound so, so much better. I am really, really, really happy with them. And I think when you compare a more recent fitting video to this one, I think we have to take our hats off the Scorpion because it did what it said on the tin. You know, all the mounting hardware came with it. Um, it was pretty straightforward to fit. It didn't take me too long to fit them. A um, couple of hours, definitely, but you know, not too long. And to be honest, I was arsing around a bit as well, so nothing major, but really, really happy with them. And just one more time, a shout out to Scorpion for having a great product because they do, you know, um, pure and simple. That's that's what it is. It's a great product. It came at a great price. 
Um, fitting was straightforward. I could have made it easier on myself um, if I was to do it again. I'm sure there, there, there are definitely things I'd do differently, but you know, even you know, their, their new frame, everything, it's just really good quality. Um, none of the bolts are made out of cheese. Everything treaded in nicely. Uh, and I always pre-check my treads anyway to make sure that you know, there's no paint or anything left in them, but they're all clean. Um, everything sank in really, really easily. So I am absolutely delighted, and it means that I'll have the exhaust on for the toy run tomorrow. Um, so yeah, it's, it's a late enough night, you know, I had other things to do today, but I think all in all, well, well, well worth the effort. I'm absolutely delighted um, with how they turned out. So I'm just going to do a couple of last checks, you know, make sure that my brake lights work and my indicators still work after my arson around with them. Um, and then I'm going to head home. But there is a noise test video coming, but honestly, very simple, very straightforward. Do not be afraid to take this on yourself. Um, I would, you know, if, if this is your first time kind of doing something like this, I would leave aside six hours um, to do it. Uh, I know it probably, you could probably do it in two, um, but I think just so you don't lose anything, so you're not panicking, um, you know, why, why not give it, give it the, uh, the six hours just to make sure it gets it done. So give it a day, you know, if, if you're spending a day at home working on your bike, there's no harm doing that. So I have a few other bits and pieces to do here now, I just need to you know, grease my chain and everything else for tomorrow. But one more time, you know, hats off to Scorpion. Great product, great price. I'm delighted with it. I can't wait to hear it out in the road. Um, preferably not tonight because the weather's awful, but I have to ride the bike home. So uh, yeah, I'll let you know how I got on. But really, really, really happy with them. They, they, look, they look fantastic and um, they sound fantastic. Yeah, really good product. If you've watched, thanks for watching. If you have any questions on this install or anything else, you know, let me know. Um, I'm going to be hanging on to the phaser for a long time, so if you have any phaser related questions, that's also no problem. Um, yeah, until next time, don't forget to like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Thanks for watching. Adios.